Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to this series on Ashlight from Native Instruments. Now, like a lot of the Play series instruments, it's built around the idea of combining two layers together. And in the case of Ashlight, it creates really interesting, complex atmosphere, pads, soundscapes, leads, and effects by combining a granular synthesis module or engine along with the sample playback module. And it also includes lots of different effect stages and a real-time performance-focused XY modulation panel that you see here in the center of the main page. So you can really morph the sound right from here. And the granular engine is used to alter the size, the shape, the pitch, the speed, and the placement of the grains of the audio that's being used. And then those granular sounds are layered with a custom curated library of either multi-samples or one-shot samples. So let's take a look around the interface. We have five different main pages. And right now we're on the Perform page. And as I say, this is the center of the interface and of the instrument in a way for simple real-time control. We have some macros at the bottom and they can be freely assigned on a per snapshot or preset basis. We have access to the granular engine here. Like for example, I can open up the browser and I can maybe change this one to wood multiphonic. And now that'll modify the sound, of course. It'll turn off the sample engine. Let me put that back on and then I can maybe turn off the grain engine and we'll hear just the sample portion. And I can open up a browser to change that. All this right from the main page. And here maybe I'll choose marimba. And combine them and now I've got a completely new sound. For interesting, dynamic, soundscape-type effects that can be easily modulated in real time by moving the puck around. Now, we have the grain page where we focus on the granular part, and we can access the same browser here. Just close it for the moment. And we have detailed controls where we can set, for example, the start and the end points of the audio file that we're using and just use part of it. And then we can change the intervals of the grains, the position, map it to the XY cursor. tuning the pitch and so on. And then at the bottom, we have a portion of the interface that stays static on all of these pages. And what we have here is send effects. So in this case, for the granular engine, we have send effects sent to delay. And we have presets here for different types of delay, some master controls. And then we have the XY settings here and so on. We'll explore all this in detail. We have macros to assign that we find on the main page. And then we have a whole modulation system here where we have LFOs and we can, for example, click here and assign it to maybe the shaper, which is another portion, have it modulate the shaper. And again, we'll explore all this, but these three sections remain consistent. So the granular engine, different granular controls, and then we even have dice for randomizing either the performance parameters or the sound source parameters as well. So lots of nice serendipity can happen. Then we have the sample page over here with, again, access to the browser directly from here, along with stepper buttons. And we have an arpeggiator we can optionally turn on and off and basic sampler functions. We can offset the start point, transpose it, tune it, use filter, filter modulation, amp envelope, and so on. And then we have the same three tabs at the bottom. Now we have effects here. The granular engine goes through one effects stage over here where we, again, here on this page, have access to the sound source browser. But here we can choose the effects and whatever we choose here, they're going to get updated with the controls here. And we have none. We have all these that we can choose from. So for example, there I've chosen reverb for that third slot. I can go here and get the modulation controls or call up the main menu and maybe change it to something else and get, for example, gate controls. And then we have here similar effects routings for the sample playback engine. Now here we have global effects where we can map MIDI controllers for the X and the Y. And we also have global effects processing over here. 
and we have four slots and I can choose whatever I want. And then when we're in each slot, we have browsers with different presets that we can select. So to get an overview of the signal flow, the granular engine has its own insert effects. Then an effect send, the sampling page has its four internal effects. And then an effect send that meet up at these effects returns. And then we have four global insert effects that'll process both of the sounds all together post all of this other processing. Now, in terms of sounds and presets, we have the snapshot system that's common to all the native instruments libraries, which we get to up here. And we have a large variety of snapshots. And these are similar to, but not exactly duplicated in the internal snapshots that we get to within Ashlight from up here. And we'll explore these browsers in more detail, but we have different filters and we can use to scroll the different snapshots of the whole instrument. And then in addition, we have the browsers for the grain engine and the sample engine. We'll continue with more in the next video.